Yo, what is up, guys? It's Jack, joined by Cole from Mystical World of Gaming. Almost said we've recorded this video like three times now, and yeah, I, no more than that. Yeah, I've almost said like a ton of times. <laughs> One <laughs> last time, I said, "Oh hi, I'm Cole," <laughs> and then before that, he said, "From we're, today, we're gonna be playing." Yep, we're not playing anything. We're, we haven't uploaded a video on the vlog channel together before. Yeah. I've only uploaded videos on the vlog channel. So, um, simple, yeah. easy, $10 blow dart. Uh-huh. Blow gun and blow... Blow, blow gun, gun and blow dart. Blow gun the... <laughs> so I have... We have a few different models. Half-inch PVC pipe. We have we have three different models with us. And you can just pick this up Lowe's, Home Depot, maybe even Walmart if you're lucky. If you're lucky, if you have like a hardware Walmart. Uh, so, uh, the other option is real PVC pipe. This is CPVC, this is PVC. They're this is real. half inch hole. Same difference. Uh, this, and then this one doesn't, you can't fit a mouthpiece onto this one. But you can fit a mouthpiece onto this one. You can fit a mouthpiece onto that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, basically, Jack and I have two different mouthpieces here. This is the one that I recommend, and that's the one that he recommends. I really recommend this one, because you can put the darts into it without taking off the mouthpiece. So the actual blow dart will be about three dollars. Yeah. PVC mouthpiece and all. But that's like it's not three dollars per the, one. Or the blow gun. The you blow just gun. have to kind of buy them in bulk. Yeah, you don't really have another choice. So you'll need paper. Oh, go get me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you'll need some paper. I find printer paper works better, but I only have notebook paper. Two inch nails, common. They should be about this size. Um, electrical tape. Or duct tape. Duct tape works too. Duct tape, yep. A knife sharpener of some sort, whetstone, sandpaper work fine. Yeah. To sharpen the... you First, you're going to want to sharpen the nails. It's a good place to start. They're sharp, but you're going to have to sharp... Well, actually, he'll be sharpening a nail while I am cutting a piece well, of here, this paper. I have, a, I have... So... So you'll want a piece of paper probably about this big. And let me see if I can show you guys the difference. So we have a small nail, so you can see the difference in the points. Yeah. So this one is the sharpened one, and this one is the dull one. And by or the no, way, this one's the dull, the sharpened one. This one's the dull one. And you know what? Um, disclaimer: We are not responsible for anyone hurting themselves with this. This is not to be shot at people. I this is heard, for recreational I purposes heard, and fun only. I have heard that you can shoot a marshmallow out of these. <laughs> Yeah, but only the half-inch hole, not the half-inch full. I, I'm not sure, but I think you can shoot marshmallows out of them. Um, and bunch of, there's a bunch of other ways that you can make these. These are just the cheapest options, and they seem to work pretty well. So you'll want to start taking your nail, and you're going to roll it up in the paper. And it should be fairly easy. It's really easy to sharpen these, too. You just kind of take it and rub it like you would anything else. Yeah, but this is probably going to be a terrible video. Um. Also, me and him have drawn out multiple blueprints and had multiple ideas for shotgun B style BB uh, blow darts. Leave a like down below if you guys want to see that. Well, let's get this video to 10 likes. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. And the other thing is that you don't need to sharpen the nails before you put them in the blow dart. I'd recommend it so that you have no way of damaging the tail. But after you shoot them at something hard, you're going to need to resharpen them. And you just take them and rub them back. So the after you've done that, the blow dart should look something like this. It won't be this long forever. So you'll want to start taking your tape and slowly roll it around where the nail and the paper connect. Make sure to hold the paper so that the paper doesn't come loose and... You're not going to want to put it at the very spot where the paper meets the other part of the paper first. You're going to want to put it where the mail, nail meets the paper because the airflow can completely kill the flight pattern and ruin your darts. Yeah. So you're just want to, going to want to get it like this, where it's still connected, but it's not yeah. like just right here or just right here. It's kind of in the middle of both. So this is what it looks like so far. This isn't finished. This is not finished. So to size your blow tart, blow tart, blow tart, <laughs> you're gonna want to take the other end of your blow gun, and not gonna, the not the uh, PVC, end, and you're gonna want to tap it in a little bit. You're gonna want to stick it in there and tap it in a little bit. You want it airtight. Yeah, airtight. And then you'll and then you'll take this, and you'll cut it off. And then you might have to cut off a little tiny bit of excess. I recommend cutting them slowly so that it comes out clean. 
I mean, this happens, but then... Uh, it still works, though. And then just kind of... Open it back up. It out, and then... I guess that's your blood art. So the other thing about these is that the mouthpieces do matter. Yes. Uh, the smaller they are, the more air they blow out faster, and the more it is towards the part that will give you the most power, which is but blowing this right one, down the If you right. use two of these pieces, this piece and this piece, it'll make it so that you can put the dart in without taking off the mouthpiece. I have to take off my piece, then put the dart in, and then put the, back, the piece uh -huh. back on. He can just put it straight in. Like so. But see, when I put it in, I have to take mine off, and then put it in, and then put this back on. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Um, should we show them how to make the shotgun blow dart? No, we'll do that next video. Okay. So, the other huge thing about this, with this for recreational purposes, this is not for this hunting, could, this, this is, is not for shooting at other people. This is not for anything like that. It can hurt, it can kill, it can harm. It can seriously kill someone. We are not joking. Okay? Just, if you, Unless you want a trip to the emergency room, don't be shooting at This somebody. can, like, shoot through your skull if you're blowing If your you're close out. enough and you're sh shooting hard enough. Now, me and Jack can shoot harder than most because we both are trumpet players. And we have that, that lung capacity that most people don't. Yeah. Um. And if you're, if you're lucky, these might work as trumpet players. So we've made three or four of these, and they shoot pretty well. They shoot into concrete, they shoot into cardboard. Now, after you get to in cardboard or anything like that, after you get to here, it'll stop. But concrete, it just shoots the very tip in, and you can make targets out of this and just play around with it. Get accurate with it, have fun like that, but please don't shoot it at anyone or any Like, animal. we are not responsible whatsoever. I can't you... stress enough. It's like having a- it is having a weapon. It's... it's... It's it's a weapon that can kill someone just like a gun can. Except for a lot more force is needed. But either way, just... Like, I can hook this up to my dad's air compressor, and that would totally shoot through a concrete wall. Just not through, but it would shoot into it very deeply. Just Your stay, skull gone. Your skull is... Yeah, you, you will die. Just be smart, be safe, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Okay. Bye. Oh. Wait, oh, oh. if you get 10, if we get 10 likes, even just 5, we'll make a shotgun blow dart video. Bye, guys. Still, still, still recording. Still, Crap!